All right, so we're at the point now where in the test or in the application, we can search for posts. We can click on them and uh, a new fragment will open up, but the data isn't in there yet. So that's what we're going to work on in this one is actually retrieving that data. So we're going to go into view post fragment and I've actually done some work ahead of time here so that you don't have to watch me type out and uh, assign all these widgets to their IDs. So if you want to just pause the video here and type out all these widgets and then assign them to their IDs like this or head over to my GitHub page, link is in the description and just copy out what I have. Um, and do it that way. I've also added a method here called hide soft keyboard, which is going to be responsible for closing the keyboard when we navigate to this fragment. So now let's get started. So um, we need to retrieve the data using the post ID that we get from onCreate right here. So we're using this post ID and now we're going to query the database and retrieve the rest of the information for the post. So I'm going to create an init method. So private void init and inside init well, actually, I'm going to run init first of all inside on create view, and also inside of init, we're going to run another method, and that's going to be called get post info. So we're going to private void get post info, and that's going to be the first method that's run inside init. You're probably wondering why I did that, but just hang on, and it, it will become obvious later in later videos because we're going to do we're going to type more stuff inside of init. This is just the first thing that we're going to be doing. All right, so let's get that post information. So I guess we can log this and say uh, getting the post information and then we want to create our database reference database reference reference equals Firebase database get instance get reference and then we create our query object so query query equals reference dot child and this is, this is stuff we've done a million times before so I'm going a little fast uh, which node we want the post node so node posts and then we do uh, we can do order by key since we're looking for the key, which is the post ID. So order by key, and then equal to M post ID. And then we can do query, add listener for single value event, new value event listener. And now we want to get that post. And since we're only going to get a single post, we're not getting a whole bunch. We can just create a data snapshot, call it a single snapshot and do data snapshot dot get children dot iterator and dot next and just retrieve a single snapshot. And then we can say if that single snapshot, so if single snapshot does not equal null, then we know we have some data. So we can go m post, and we need to create a global variable for the post. So private post m post, and of course import our post class, and say m post m post equal single snapshot dot get value and we can reference our post class here and then we can log it so saying log found the post well, found the found found the post and then just say uh, we can do m post and either print out the whole all the details of the post by going to string or you can just print out uh, something like the title or whatever you whatever you want I need to close that oh not set title get title Okay, um, now we need to assign all the fields. So mtitle.setText to mpost.getTitle. And I can just copy this. And we have a bunch of widgets. So we have the description, uh, we'll have the price, and we'll have the location. And then we got to set the image. So set image to uh, mpost, mpost get image and then pass the image view widget which is post image and now we need to change all these so we have description get description and then we got to write a little bit of logic for the price so string price equals free and then if uh, m post dot get price um, does not equal null so if they actually did give it a price that means that it's it's not free and in that case we want to reassign it and say price equals mpost.get price and that will assign the price and then we can go and assign the widget so we can go m price and then we can assign it to price like that and let's see so now uh, we're gonna get gonna get the location so string location is gonna equal m post dot get city and then concatenate that with a comma do space there plus m post dot get 
state province and concatenate that again space comma go to the next line we'll do m post dot get country and that will be our location and then we can change this and say m location and set it to the location whoops okay i think that's good so that will retrieve our information and should set everything up for us so let's try to run that and take a look and make sure that's working okay so let's search and choose a post we get the picture title description yeah looks like everything is working as we expect uh, we didn't set up the contact seller or is that set up I can't remember if that's yeah that's not set up yet um, so I guess we, should, we need to set that up so let's go into our init method here and inside of init we can do m contact seller set on click listener new on click listener we can do intent uh, we'll call it email intent if I could if I could spell equals new intent and do intent dot action send for sending an email and then do email intent set type to plain slash text and then email intent dot put extra and we're going to do intent dot email extra email and do new string array and this is where we can get the uh, contact email so get contact email close all that and there we go and then of course get activity and start activity nope start activity with so I just want plain old start activity there and an email intent and there we go so yeah that should take care of our contact seller let's run it okay search choose a post uh, oh also we need to set the the kind of the graphics and all that for that save post button up there so I click contact email opens up the email and there we go so that's good perfect so now oh whoops so now we need to yeah fi fix all this graphics for the save post button up here. So we'll stay inside of the init method here, and oh, I need to attach an onclick listener to the close button too. So set onclick listener, new onclick listener, and just do log d closing post, and then we just do uh, get activity dot get support frame manager dot pop backstack to go backwards, and now let's set some graphics to that save post button. Um, I need to create actually another method down at the bottom. Uh, so let's go down here. And we need to create a, a little method here for uh, creating an outline for the bitmap. So bitmap create outline. And I'll do bitmap source and then do paint uh, p equals oops, new paint. And then p.set mask filter and do new blur mask filter two for the radius and then blur mask blur mask blur mask filter dot blur and blur the outer portion of it and then return source dot extract alpha and do p and no okay now let's go back up here and we're going to set some properties so m save post dot set shadow layer and we're going to go five uh, zero and zero and i know in the original i set it to black but i might change that i'll set it to black for now um there's also the watch list which we're not technically in that one but that's okay set image bitmap create outline do bitmap factory dot decode whoops decode resource decode Damn it! Decode resource, uh, and then get resources. R dot drawable, and I don't think I actually imported that. I see save white is what we're gonna call that. I haven't imported that yet. And then I'm gonna, whoops, not copy that line. Just do it. watch list. Uh, set color filter, and do color dot black. M close. Set image bitmap to, and then create outline and do the same very similar thing so actually I'm going to copy this except this is going to be ICX underscore white 
And like I said, we need, still need to import that stuff into the drawables, drawables folder. And set color filter to color dot black. Okay. Actually, I am I am just gonna change this. I'm gonna change this to like I don't know blue or something, and see if it just stands out more. Because I know in the demo application I had it as black, but you can't really see it that well when the colors when the pictures are dark. So let's change it to blue and see what that looks like. So let's in, insert these pictures or these um, drawables drawables drawable icons. So let's go into drawables, right click, go new image asset, and do I C save white. And should be a save. There we go. And let's change this to white. So that should be good. I guess I can get rid of the padding and do next and finish. So that should get rid of the error on the IC save white. There we go. Now we just need to do the same thing with an X. So new image asset, IC X white. And we're looking for a close. So X. Change this to change this to white. Can get rid of the padding. Finish. There we go. Okay. So that should be good for now. This is a good time to stop and test it and take a look. So let's run the app. Okay. So let's search. And we're gonna look at the pen this time. And yeah, I think that safe pose looks better when, when it's kind of like blue. I might even make it a lighter blue to be honest and looks good cool so that's good for this part now um i guess in the next part what we need to work on is when you actually click on save post that it gets added to what's called the watch list so that when you when i go over here there'll be items that i've added to my watch list so these might be items that i want to save and i want to look at later or just just save in general so that's what we'll work on in the next one